Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to edit the quick launch. Over here on the left, we have our quick launch. And our quick launch is basically just a list of links to other places in SharePoint. We can go ahead and we can edit this list and we can remove links. We can add links. We can change their order. We can promote them. We can demote them into sublinks, whatever we want. Let's go ahead and let's click on edit and you'll see it opens up my list so that I can now edit. The first thing that we see is we now have ellipses next to each of the links and the ellipses reveal options for us. I have this link here for conversations. Now conversations simply takes me to Outlook and shows me all the conversations in this group. So I don't feel that I need this because I can simply click on Outlook to get to it. So I'm going to delete this link. And to do that, I click on the ellipses and choose Remove. And it's gone. I also have a OneNote notebook, the link to the OneNote notebook. Now, this won't delete the notebook. It's just going to delete this link. But we don't use the notebook, so we're going to get rid of it on our quick launch we're simply going to click remove and I also don't feel that I need the link to the pages because I can access all of my pages through the site contents so I'm going to remove that as well there just like that now I want to add a link to another list so to do that I'm going to go ahead and you see as I move through here I get that line and those plus signs. When I click on one of those, it opens up add a link and it'll add that link in that position. So this link is going to be right here between documents and home. First thing I have to do is choose an option. URL is the default, but there is a little drop down here. And if I click on that, you see I can link to other things, but I want URL. And I'm going to go over here to my HR team site parts list and I'm going to copy the URL and I'm simply going to paste it here and I'm going to put in the name of the list part sales and when I click OK there it is now I can move this if I decided I don't want it in this position I can go ahead and I can move it I can click the ellipses and you see I have the options to move it up or move it down. If I move it up, well, it's on top of the home button. I don't really want that. I'm going to move it down. I can move it down again or watch this. I can go ahead and I can actually drag it. I'm going to hold my mouse button down and you see I'm moving it and notice it's kind of tricky in here. Come on, are you going to show it to me or not? There. See that blue line? When I get the blue line, there. Wherever that blue line is, that's where this will wind up when I let go of my mouse button. I'm going to let go of the mouse button here. And you see now parts list is under the employee list. Just like that. I could also make it a sublink. If I click on that, I can choose make sublink. And you see it indents it and makes it a sublink of the employee list. Now, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to go ahead and promote the sublink back to a normal link like that. And if I ever wanted to edit any of the attributes of this link, again, I can click on the ellipses and click edit, and it opens up the edit link button, and I could change the name or if the URL changed, whatever it is, I could go ahead and do that. Now, I don't really want the parts list there, so I'm actually going to remove it. But my list is looking good now. Let's do one more link. Let's add one here down at the bottom. And again, it's going to be another URL. I have the Elevator Skills public site, which is under construction. But we're going to go ahead and add the URL to that. Give it the display name and click OK. And now if I click on that link, well, let's save it first. Let's save our quick launch. If I click on that public site, 
it takes me right there. And that is how you edit the quick launch. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.